The pick and roll, often known as the screen and roll, is one of the most straightforward offensive moves to execute in basketball. While it may be simple to execute, it may be a nightmare for defenders to defend if done right. That is why the pick and roll has been spread from the NBA to junior and high school levels. So please like and subscribe to the channel before we go into the actual gritty of how this pick and roll works in basketball. To better understand this technique, the pick and roll motion in basketball is when you use your body to obstruct the movement of an opposition player without making any prohibited physical contact. On the screen, the screener positions himself and sets his feet on the floor to function as a barrier, preventing the other player from passing. A good screen allows your teammate to get into open spots on the court, which opens up offensive opportunities. Point guards dribbling the ball with force forwards and center laying the screen are frequently used to carry out these settings. The pick and roll is a move that can be done practically anywhere on the court. With that said, let's look at some of the techniques used by basketball players to perform these movements successfully. The wing pick and roll are one of them, and it's done on the top side. The ball screen is put on the wing to lead the ball handler to the middle of the court in this approach. The other three players normally set up on the opposite side of the court when this is done. One on the wing, one in the corner, and one on the low post on the weak side. A wing pick and roll can also be performed on the baseline side where the ball screen is placed in the wing region and the screener's back faces the baseline. The high pick and roll approach is another option. This ball screen is placed near the top of the key in this method. A ball screen at the top of the key is known as the high pick and roll or top pick and roll. When this is done, one off ball player is normally in the short corner while the other two offensive players are behind the three point line. The two players on the opposing sides of the court would be behind the three point line. The corner pick and roll approach is another approach. Near the corner, the corner pick and roll approach is used because defenders aren't used to guarding ball screens against this location. This can be tough to defend, however, you must tread cautiously because defensive traps are much easier to set near the corner. A ball screen set on a player with the basketball in the corner of the court is known as a corner pick and roll. Off-ball players are frequently set up at the top of the key in the corner and on the weak side low post when this is run. In the triangle offense, the corner pick and roll is a common move. The flat pick and roll method is also available. With the screeners back to the basket, this pick and roll approach is used. It can be placed anywhere in the back court, including near the three point line. The flat screen can be used to counteract the pressure. It's also excellent for use during transitions. The A set pick and roll is the final strategy I'll explain now. The A set can also be used to execute the pick and roll approach. The ball handler chooses which way to go in this approach, which is two screeners at the top. Different screeners roll to the basket alternatives and that are available here. You can have the ball side screener roll to the basket as well as the opposing side of the screener always roll to the basket and a specified roller. The same player rolls to the hoop regardless of which side the ball handler moves to. Let's take a look at some fundamental pick and roll tips for basketball. Pick and roll players have practically created a Hall of Fame career out of it. Examples include Hall of Famers Carl Malone and John Stockton. Your squad will profit greatly if you follow these strategies and improve your pick and roll execution. You should be able to finish at the rim, make solid decisions, blast past defenders, and pull up for a jump shot off the dribble in the ideal situation. You can, however, be effective without all of these skills. The first tip is to get low and balanced. This will allow you to surge past the opponent while also preventing the defense from quickly pushing you off balance with a forearm or a minor bump. You can also wait for the screen, as many gamers become anxious and leave too early. This makes it easier for your opponents to defend you, and it can also lead to an offensive foul on the screener if you begin dribbling around the screen too soon. It's better to be late than early when coming off of screens. The fake opposite is another successful tactic. When you fake the opposite, the defender is forced to play you honestly. It will also assist you in setting up your defender so that you may run them into the screen straight. If they continue to play you unfairly, you can lower the screen and go for the basket. When you dribble off the ball screen, you can also attack and be aggressive. When you are assertive and in control, more wonderful things will happen than when you are hesitant. This strategy should be used in all aspects of your game, not just ball screens. 
The screener should ideally be a post player who can create solid screens and has the athletic ability to roll to the basket, grab the pass and finish at the basket. A post player who can shoot from outside and set up the pick and pop is always a plus. However, by raising a fist and screaming out the ball handler's name, you should alert the ball handler that you are about to set a ball screen. Also make sure you sprint to the location you'll be screening. This will give the defender little time to react and make defending the ball screen more difficult. And as the ball hander dribbles around your pick, you must stop moving and remain stationary to avoid an offensive foul. You can also spread your feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, bend your knees and lower your hips. This makes it more difficult for the defense to move you or push you aside. After you've created the screen, try to pin the defender on your back. Pivot back and open up to the ball and roll to the hoop. Raise your hand to provide a target for passerbys. On the pick and roll, keep in mind that smart defenses will have a help side defense. Keep your head up as you receive the pass rolling to the basket to see if there is a help side defender. By sliding around the defender or halting and passing to an open teammate, you can avoid the charge. While the pick and roll are the most popular and can be one of the most effective ways to use the ball screen, the screener and the ball handler also have other possibilities. You will be more of a threat if you comprehend these possibilities. These aren't the only ways to get around the ball screen, but they're the most effective. Now let's talk about the options available to the ball handler. The straight line attack is the first strategy here, where the ball handler dribbles away from the screen and straight to the basket. This option is usually open if the defender plays behind the screener. Attacking the hedge is another possibility. Hedging is one of the most effective defensive measures. By attacking the hedge, the post player will be forced to make a decision. Do they remain focused on you or return to their post player? If they swap and you're guarded by a post player, you can attack right away or back up to get some momentum before attacking the bigger, slower guy. Passing the ball to the screener, who should have an advantage in the post with a smaller guard on them, is another possibility. It's critical to attack the defender's shoulder and take two dribbles off the ball screen when coming off the ball screen. This will often cause the player protecting the screener to make a bad judgment, resulting in more scoring opportunities for your team. Nowadays, we've noticed that far too many coaches are wrongfully teaching the pick and roll. They are either simply leaving out important details, or because it is the most common move in basketball, players must understand everything they need to know to run it well. This information will benefit you not just as a member of a team, but also when you decide to pursue basketball at a higher level. Alright, we've come to the end of this video, and if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to this channel to see more outstanding videos like this. Thank you.